This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. Sports Blitz Live, Luke Robinson here, ready for the Alabama Blitz, brought to you by Bradbury Medical Center. I want to thank everybody at Bradbury Medical Center for sponsoring this program. They've been a loyal sponsor for quite some time now, and we really do appreciate Bradbury Medical Center. Check them out in Alexander City, Alabama. Now I want to welcome in Brandy Ratliff, who is a freelance writer for all things Ole Miss, Ole Miss Athletics. Really do appreciate her being with us tonight. Brandy, are you there? I'm here. Um, Brandy, I got to tell you, Ole Miss may be the, the talk of the SEC right now. They're undefeated. Uh, they've been known to trip up early in the season on occasion, but they got a huge win under their belt against Texas a little bit ago. How much of a boost has that been to the program? Um, I think that's a big program um, um, boost for us. Texas is a tough team, and um, I think most people know they defeated us pretty bad last year, 66-31. It was kind of crushing. We had so much talk about um, Texas coming to Ole Miss and it being such a big deal. It kind of hurt to lose so big to them at home. Um, but taking that win on the road, it really felt good. Um, we kept them out of the end zone the entire second half. So that's, that's pretty big for our program. Ole Miss has is, is really gotten a lot of hype for their much ballyhooed freshman class from last year that's come in. you got the number one recruit in the country, of course, number one offensive lineman, number one wide receiver. Um, of all those, of all the freshmen that have played, which one has impressed you the most? I'm going to go with Laquan Treadwell. Um, one thing about Treadwell is, is that he's got a lot of size on him. And so he's able to, like, really move past the defense and get where he's trying to go with the ball. He's, he's really, really versatile. He's very strong. He's a real tall guy. Um, a lot of people compare him to A&M's Mike Evans. Um, so, you know, I just think he's, he's going to be a great player for us now, but I think he's got a lot of potential for the future, too. Talk about what it is that Hugh Freeze has done to re-energize this program. Uh, Ole Miss has had some success recently. I know under Houston Nutt, they, they go to the Cotton Bowl, et cetera, but they never seem to get over that proverbial hump. Uh, what is it that Hugh Freeze brings to the table that's so impressive to you? Freeze comes in with a passion for the team, and, and that kind of stands out first and foremost. But also he cares about the players. I mean, you see him tweeting the players. You see him encouraging them. Um, one of our players tweeted the other day that, you know, Hugh Freeze made my day. You know, it's just, it's those words of encouragement. You want to play for him. You want to do well for him. Um, he's kind of gotten our whole fan base um, energized and charged up and excited about the season. Last year, we were coming off of a, a 2-10 season going into last season. And, you know, a lot of people said Ole Miss wouldn't win four games. We came in, we won six, and then we got to a bowl game, you know. That's kind of a mediocre season for a lot of people. But for Ole Miss, coming in and getting six after such a terrible season beforehand, it was a big deal. And then coming in this season, um, I think we're five wins in a row, 3-0 for this particular season. That's a, that's a big start for us. I think that's our best start since 1989 is what's listed. I mean, that's huge for us. Brandy, Ole Miss has th- – this – an incredible run of games coming up. Uh, you could go back and actually start at Texas before this bye week that you just had. And that's at Alabama, uh, at Auburn, I believe. You've got Texas A&M and LSU on there. What are Ole Miss fans hoping for in terms of number of wins out of those these next four games? I mean, we're hoping for 4-0. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we hope we win them all. Um, these are not robots on the field. These are human beings. They're college kids. No one is invincible, and that includes Alabama. Alabama has an amazing team. They're going to be probably our toughest competitor we've faced, but they're still apt to make mistakes, just like any other college football um, athlete player could do out there. Um, I expect that that we'll go in and, and we'll do our best. I don't know if we'll win. I don't know if we'll lose. But I do know that we're going to play a full 60 minutes and we're going to give them a tough game, whoever we face. Well, Brandy, thanks so much for being with us on the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Minute. Uh, we really do appreciate your being with us. I hope people go and follow you on Twitter. And how can they find you? Um, I am Southern Girl Rebel on Twitter. And um, that's S-O-U-T-H-R-N-G-R-L-R-E-B-E-L. Brandy, thanks a lot. We really do appreciate your contribution. And we hope to have you on again soon, okay? Thank you. Hotty toddy. <laughs> See you, Brandy.
<laughs> that was Brandy Ratliff. Of, uh, she's actually just a freelance writer for all things Ole Miss Athletics. She does a great job. Go follow her on Twitter. She's really entertaining. She writes some good stuff. She has some great tweets, and she keeps up with the team pretty adamantly. We really do appreciate her being with us. We'll be back in just a minute with more Sports Blitz Live.